Hey everybody! So we are in, on day one of how to start your virtual assistant business and we're going to talk all about how to turn your skills into profitable services. So it has to be services that can gain you profit because that's why you want to offer them in your business, right? So let me first, like I always do, get this shared inside of my Facebook group. Um, if you're not in my Facebook group, it is the Virtual Assistant Club on Facebook. So make sure you join us there. Uh, so let me get this shared. And when you're hopping on, say hi. Um, let me know how did you find this video. Um, and what kind of questions you have about um, creating your services. What will you offer? So one second, I'm going to get this right in the group. There's my group. Let's see if I can uh, post that in here. Uh, let's see if I can get this out. Okay, here we go. So when you're hopping on, say, hey, let me know what day you're excited about the training. There we go. All right, I have that in my group. So I'm going to wait for some people to hop on, but I'm going to go ahead and go into an intro for, um, I know a lot of people found this um, this live training series on Facebook and Facebook groups, and they're new to me um, in my page. So I am Nika Williams. I am a virtual assistant, and I'm also a virtual assistant coach. So I've been offering virtual assistant services for about two years now, and then um, I started my virtual assistant, um, yeah, virtual assistant coaching business because a lot of women, a lot of moms um, wanted to know how did I do it. Um, and so that took off, and then I offer a lot of free trainings, a lot of free challenges, uh, workbooks, um, all of that. So if you are not inside of the Virtual Assistant Club, you might want to come join us because I drop a lot of exclusive content in there. So that's why I'm sharing this training inside of my group. So, um, also, I am here in Georgia, and it is sounding like it's about to thunder, so um, I hope nothing happens crazy. So we'll just wait for some people to go ahead and hop on. And when you hop on, say hi. Um, let me know if you have any kind of questions because I will be answering questions at the end. Okay. But so when a lot of people come to me, and I don't know why, this is like a shiny light right here. But like, when people come to me, they always ask me, like, what should I offer? I don't have virtual assistant um, experience. Um, I don't have a website. I don't have a social media following. I don't even know what to offer. I don't know where to start. So I always um, look back and say, um, kind of look back at what you're good at. It doesn't have to be something that you're actually skilled in or have like a college degree, high school diploma, um, work experience, but what do you like doing? So I tell this story all the time. I was working um, for corporate and doing a lot of admin work. So, of course, I started to offer that when I jumped into my virtual assistant business. But I also looked at what did I want, I like doing, what, were I good, what was I good at, and what did a lot of my family and friends ask me for. Um, and so that was pretty much like um, organizing different things. So, um, for one thing that kind of took like stood out to me was I planned, helped plan um, a family vacation for like seven people. And so... We did, went on a cruise, so we had a lot of paperwork that we had to uh, get because we had some kids come with us, too. And so when we were at the counter and um, I had all the paperwork um, in a handy folder, I handed it to the lady. I had all the people in line ready to take their pictures. And so when we got done, the lady was like, oh, my God, you are the most organized. And this was such a fast process when it normally takes forever for a lot um, of the other guests. So um, when I look, think about that, I was like, okay, I can offer project management because I am super good at seeing the big picture, but I am super good at breaking down that big picture into tasks that can be done on a day-to-day -day basis or whatever kind of time flow we have for the client. So I offer project management. I do. I have not went to school for that. I did not work in corporate in that field. I just started offering that because I was really good at it. So what you want to do, and I hope you have your workbook handy that came with this training. If you don't, go ahead and check your email for our email with all the scheduled trainings and then your um, your workbook will be in there as well. So the first page is all about identifying your services. So we want to look at what you are, uh, what you like doing and what you're also good at. And then that's the way you can figure out how can you serve others doing those. Um, we create our business so we can have fun, so we are happy because a lot of us leave corporate because we're just unhappy. We're not having, um, we're not happy with our day-to-day um, -day basis as far as what we're doing. So in your business, don't feel like you have to do something that you don't want to do. Um, you can definitely offer any kind of service that you want. You can 
train, get better at it, take courses, YouTube, Google, whatever it is, um, to go ahead and figure out what you want to offer and get better at that skill set if you want to up level um, in it. So it doesn't matter about any kind of um, experience, VA experience. Um, no, and I've seen this a lot too, um, that some potential clients or some people in Facebook groups, they're like, I'm putting together my resume or some kind of potential clients will say, drop your resume. Um, this is not corporate. This is your own business. So we don't use resumes here. So I would say more so of a portfolio. If you want to have like a one sheet that kind of goes into what you do, a little bit of your background, your services, even if you want to have like one pricing, little sample, um, of your pricing or starting that, um, to give them a little, um, idea of what they'll be investing um in when they hire you on so um definitely do that but i def i don't really recommend building up resumes or using resumes because this is definitely different from corporate um and certain things that we do in entrepreneurship and building our own business do not translate um from like corporate standards or what they do so a lot of people um want to have like certifications and they want to have um you know, do different things as far as to prove their way, prove that they are this, um, like authority or credible of it. So you don't have to do that. You can start from where you're at. You can always build up. People just want to know that you can deliver the results. Um, they want the results. They want the end goal. And so that's what you should focus on when you're offering your services. If you are brand new, you can still, um, serve someone. So, um, definitely grab that workbook and look into it and go ahead and complete page one. Um, that will give you a gist of exactly what you can offer um, someone. And then also in the free email course, there is a long list of services, kind of like to get your mind going as far as what you can offer. So, a, really, a little recap is we're talking about today is as far as, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Using the skills that you already have to offer services to different clients. And so it does not matter if you are just starting out. If you have been in it for a while, you can offer whatever you want. Um, if you want to gain more skills, of course, you can invest in courses or Google it, YouTube it. I don't care. Um, you can even have um, where you try out with different clients to get better at something. Um, if you want to offer them free discounted services um, so you can get the training to whatever skill set you want to do, that's another way to figure out exactly what you want to offer um, I tried in the beginning um, I work with three different types of clients um, offering pretty much three different types of services too and then I was able to figure out okay I really want to offer this I like doing this and I can see myself doing this on a day-to-day -day basis so it's super easy to just go out there and try things and figure out exactly what you want to offer that way too so, like I said, go ahead and leave any kind of questions if you have them. If you're just hopping on, say hi. Um, drop your questions before if you have, if you're stuck with figuring out what you want to offer. Um, I also have a question too, is like, it, um, is the market oversaturated as, as far as maybe you just want to offer like back-end work, admin work, um, email management, calendar management, something like that. So I get this question a lot is like, is it oversaturated? And I'm, and I'm always saying no. Um, there's too many business owners out there that do not know what a virtual assistant is. Even in the entrepreneur space, if you drop a VA inside of a Facebook group, some people still don't know what it is. So there is, the market is definitely not oversaturated. You can still reach out to people and say, hey, this is what I do and you may need these services. There are still people out there struggling, overwhelmed in their business and don't know where to turn and look for someone to help them with, with their business. So... If you offer those services to everyone around you, you will definitely be able to find clients. It's super easy um, with the online world, social media world now, so you can reach out and find clients that way. So a little recap we're talking about today is um, how to turn your services into profitable, how to turn your skills that you already have into profitable services to serve someone. Um, and so I always talk about you don't need experience, you can try and learn, you can grow um, no matter what level you're at, no matter what background you have, um, high school diploma, corporate, you don't have, you haven't been in the work field, corporate for that long, or you're... Uh, 15 years been in corporate field, it does not matter. So go ahead and um, jump in um, at the spot that you're at. You learn as you go. Um, and so tomorrow we're going to be talking about my secret strategy, strategy to pricing those services. So my number one way as far as how do I price any kind of service for any um, client. So we'll kind of go into my um, little secret thing that I do all the time if you're struggling with pricing your services. 
Um, and so, yeah, this is a five-day training series. So um, I will be providing these to you Monday through Friday, one day a week. If you're watching a replay, go ahead and drop replay so I know to keep these videos up. Um, but if you have any kind of questions, leave them below. Um, of course, um, right now, if you want to dive deeper into your certain situation and to get personalized help, of course, the VA University is open. Um, we go into these topics as far as services, pricing, pitching, um, your sales calls process. We go, we dive 10 times deeper um, than I do on my live streams or in my course because it's super easier to um, have some feedback from you, the audience, or you, the person. So we have like one-on-one -on -one, um, strategy sessions where I figure out what your goals are, what do you need, what you're looking for, um, and then we come up with a plan to get you to that. Um, and if that is starting from scratch, then we definitely will work through that. If you uh, have a little bit of better experience, then we up-level you, no matter where you're at in the process. So if you want more information, of course, the VA University, will the link will be down below. We are closing. Doors will close on Friday. And the next time I open it back up, which I don't have a date as of yet, but the price is real, it will be increased. Um, spots are filling up pretty quickly. And so um, I'm thinking we may sell out before a Friday even comes. So I'm super pumped about that. But um, make sure if you're interested, message me. If you have any kind of questions, we can definitely jump on a call um, to make sure that it's a good fit for you because I'm only taking a limited number of people. So yeah, so today we were talking about services. So um, how to um, package your services or no, how to figure out what services you want to offer um, from the skills that you already have. So I know a lot of people come in and say, I don't have any experience. I haven't been working that long. I didn't graduate college. It does not matter. Um, a lot of you guys know my story. I was a teen mom, a college dropout, and I dropped out of co um, corporate too. I didn't want to be in there. So it does not matter where you're at. You can definitely start um, and think about things that you like doing I see a lot of people offering services that they think will make them money but they don't actually like doing it um, and so make sure you're focused on um, offering services that you actually like doing because that's why we build our businesses um, so make sure you drop any kind of questions below get in on the VA University if you need any kind of coaching at a low price the VA University is your best bet you can get in at $75 and you'll get group coaching and a course um, and then you'll have unlimited access to me too for the whole 12 weeks period you can send me over your pitches send me over your welcome packets send me over any kind of information that you want to uh, have feedback on um, so you will have a business coach in your pocket and then we'll also have the live group coaching calls um, inside of the VA University too where we will jump on a call normally it's like 45 minutes to an hour long bring your questions we will um, have a plan you'll have homework and you'll know what you'll need to work on to keep moving forward to your goals whatever they are so I think that's all for now. If you don't have any other questions for me, I love you guys and I thank you so much and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.